Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Adventures with Peps. Now, you fools, I don't know why you picked you picked my bear bounty hunter model that I converted. Now originally I was trying to build Trapper Hag Hag Trapper Hag from a uh, Judge Dredd. He's kind of this weird giant ape dog creature and I thought I saw these models on Warlord Games website and they are I think they're called Ice Yetis or Robot Yetis from Doctor Who Miniature Game. And I thought, you know what, that could be a good base for the model. So I attempted a conversion and it went not as planned. I am not a proper converter in no way, shape or form. What I really want to do is use green stuff and actually build him in that way. But currently my skill set is not that. So I attempted to build something with bits that I had floating around and I ended up with what just looks like a giant teddy bear with a gun <laughs> and uh you fools decided I should paint them this week so that's what we're doing I started off with the model primed black it's got a healthy dry brushing of um what's it called again the pallid witch flesh and now I am working with the army painter crusader skin to pick out its different fleshy areas I actually really like this model. I've got the finished model in my hand as I do this voiceover, and I'm very happy with him. He still looks like a giant teddy bear, and I have two more of these models. So I am going to build two more companions for him. But currently I have decided this one is going to be called Ververn, the bounty hunter. Uh, I'm going to try and make up rules for him in Strontium Dogs, but I, I, of course I'm going to use him in Judge Dredd. So he is going to appear at some point with some Judge Dredd rules as well. I've come up with a weird backstory in my head that his world was overrun by humans. They rather enjoyed the soft fur that these lovely bears have and ultimately turned most of them into rugs and a small ragtag band have escaped and have become bounty hunters and mercenaries at large. And now and again, they come down to Mega City One in an attempt to smash and grab, take somebody away. And of course, Justice Department do not like that, so they have to stop them. Uh, up next, we are now using the hardened lever. So yeah, he's such a cool model. I'm so I'm looking at it, and it's just making me smile. It's a very simple paint scheme. He is mostly fur, which makes this very easy. And I really enjoyed painting him. It was very easy, very simple. Who knows how well this video will perform. I find Judge Dredd videos can be a bit hit and miss on this channel. Yet a video that <laughs> has me painting a completely unique model that only I own. It's going to be quite comical to see how well it performs or how well it doesn't perform. But yeah, I had so much fun. As you can see, I used a, I've got to remember all the different parts, an orc shoulder pad for his shoulder pad. Then we had some ammo belts from random, very random places. Combination of orcs, uh, Space Marine Primaris for the pouches. Um, I think we got like a heavy bolter feed going around his waist there. Then I had a spare coat tassel from the uh, Necromunda, is it Delacue or Delac gangers? And that's about it. The muzzle, the dog face, is from an old plastic Reaper dog that I had around. I really do not like the, I think it was the Bones Collector collection don't like the plasticky texture of those figures so I was quite happy to chop up his nose and stick it on this guy. Now am I going to make two more bears? I don't know. I don't know. I really want to try and make Trapper Hag so I've got to attempt that again at least one more time and we'll see how that one comes out but I'm so I'm quite happy to be adding this to my collection and coming up with rules. I think he's going to be hilarious in a game. Right, we're about halfway through painting the first, so we're going to skip forward a bit. Stop me waffling on too much. With the hardened leather now drying, we move on to the Orc Flesh Army Painter. And I'm going to pick out some belt buckles and stuff. Whilst I was painting this model, or at least 
choosing what to paint him as I kept drifting towards Care Bear colours. I had some weird idea that I was going to do Care Bears. I talked myself out of it in the end, and I'm kind of glad I did. He looks a lot better as a kind of a futuristic real bear than a pretend comical colour that I wanted to go with. There was a part of me that was maybe thinking this was a robot, some sort of animatronics bear that has gone rogue or maybe an uplift bear. But I think it's better off pretending that he is an alien bear. Kind of like uh, the Aardvark character from the Cursed Earth saga. It's that kind of idea that people would look at him and just see a bear and assume that he's harmless. And he pulls out a giant pistol and shoots you. <laughs> that just feels very Judge Dreddy to me. We then move on to the other pouches, which I'm using the Sand Golem speed, cast speed paint. What is going on with my brain? It is fried. Me talking just doesn't work well. But yeah, I'm just going to go around and pick out all the pouches with this. There's not many colours to this model. He ends up being quite a warmish brown colour all over. Because even though I use orange on the shoulder pad and his loincloth, as we'll call it, it still came out quite brown looking. So he is quite mooted. He's almost my version of a Wookiee. I think that's where I've gone with this. Especially with his backstory. Feels very much like when the Empire took over the Wookiee's homeworld and started selling them off as slaves and killing them for their furs. That's kind of the backstory of this bear's race. I can imagine a group of slavers have gone down to the world, most likely humans, and have took over the planet, enslaved the population, doing horrible things to them, but this small ragtag group have escaped. They've got their own little honeypot spaceship. They're flying around. They are guns for hire. Maybe they're bounty hunters. Maybe they're just mercs with the gun. They're now going to come down to Mega City 1 and cause some trouble for my judges. And I think these could be a little fun thing to add into the games. Make a little great RPG setting for them. Or actually in the Warlord games, I could easily come up with rules and use them in that. I don't think they're over the top crazy. I could use like lieutenant rules from uh, the Block Wars or some City Dev like lieutenant stats from them. It doesn't have to be over the top, it just has to be fun to play against. Up next was the Grave Lord Grey. He's on some metallic gubbins on his back. He's got like some sort of uh, breathing apparatus plus shield generator maybe. Using it on his gun and on the grenades on his pouches and on a few random places. There's a pistol on his hip that I've used it on the hand grip. Is the hand grips on the knives as well. It's a nice simple step, just going around. The grey will pop a little bit more just because of all the browns, but that green is going to be the standout colour for definite. I then use fire giant orange on his shoulder pad and his loincloth. Uh, you did not see it in this video, but I did use zealot yellow on the eyes going to brighten that up at a later stage with a brighter yellow it just didn't come out as bright as I was hoping it was a very quick step to do the eyes they're the only section that is yellow so I thought I'd just fold it into this orange part and this will be the last step that I do on this model the base obviously needs to be done still and I've got like I said need to fix the eyes and then we'll get some glamour shots done for you as always, I do appreciate everyone who voted for this model. I really enjoyed painting it. It has sat on the shelf for too long. That was why it actually was put into that vote. Because I thought somebody will vote for it and then I have to paint it. And it happened to be straight away. You guys vote for it straight away. The model that I thought was going to win did not win. It actually ended up coming third. I have painted that model as well because I wanted to get it painted. So you'll get another video tomorrow of me painting a miniature. I think we've got three videos back to back of me painting figures, which is quite rare. <laughs> um, and hopefully you'll stick around. But as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers for watching.